Okay, let's just take a quick look at the difference between running a function and actually returning a value from a function. So if we say function add, and then for example we add some arguments here, we'll say a, b, c, for example, and then in here we'll put a dialog message that goes ahead and sums them up and displays a value. So it says sum is a plus b plus c. Now if we go ahead and publish this and run it, uh, nothing will happen because we've got just the function. We've actually got to make a function call in order to create um, this or in order to uh, trigger this function. So if we say add and then we put in some values here, say 5, 32, 47 and we run it, it's actually going to go ahead and sum those up and display it in a dialog message. Let's go ahead and do that and then we'll come back here and take a look at how we can return the value rather than just displaying the value. So basically what we're doing here is we're triggering that dialog message action with that function, right? So the sum is 84. Let's go ahead and go back into our scripting editor here and take a look at what we're doing. We're firing this function using the function call here, add, and we're passing some values here that get taken into the function via this ABC uh, values and we're actually just using those as an expression within a dialog message action. Okay, well that's not the same as returning a value. So let's take a look at how we can return a value from our function. We'll keep the same function but now what we're going to do is we're going to use the return declaration and we're going to put in some brackets here and in between the brackets we're going to say return A plus B plus C. Now here where we make the function call, we actually have to assign this to a variable. So we'll say result equals add those numbers. And then we'll go ahead and add a dialog message action that's going to display the value of the, the variable result. So we'll say here sum is result. Okay, can you see the fundamental difference basically between what we did here. In one case we were actually just passing the values one way to the function. Nothing was coming back. The dialog message action was being triggered from within the function. But now what we're doing is creating a two-way communication with our function. So we're actually sending it values and we're getting a value back. And this is of course the key to high-level functionality with functions. Um, let's go ahead and run this and take a look. As you can hear, see here, we got essentially the same thing uh, in the end, but the way in which we did it was much more sophisticated. In this way, we can actually go ahead and make different function calls from different portions of our scripts uh, to create different functionality. For example, we may not want to put that into a dialog message, or we may want to take that value uh, before we put it into a dialog and actually uh, act upon it in some way by multiplying it, for example, with another number or creating some interactivity. If we ha had kept the dialog message action within the function, we would never be able to call that function without triggering that dialog message. Now what we're able to do is actually use that function to add up our numbers uh, without triggering the dialog message box unless we want to. So that's the difference between returning a value and just triggering a function. And that's how you return a value from a function. This is a very simple example, but of course you can uh, use this function uh, example here to build upon and create very advanced functionality. So let's go on to the next video tutorial now. If you have any questions about uh, returning values from functions, of course, meet us in the forum at indigoros.com and we'll be happy to answer your questions.